I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not breaking the law. And if I am, arrest me. If not, then shut up and leave me alone. Literally, man. I don't like your attitude. I don't appreciate it a bit. Go. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm not giving you my ID. I'm not doing nothing. If I can't stand on the sidewalk, then arrest me. If not, quit harassing me and leave me alone. Go. Leave me alone. We have a satisfying video for you guys today. This guy reached out to me and sent me this video. Not very many of you have seen it yet. Remember folks, if you don't know your rights, you don't have any rights. There isn't a judge out there that'll disagree with me. There probably isn't a judge out there that likes me, but that's because I fight like hell for my rights, win or lose. This is the University of Dallas Police. They trespassed this man from university property, so he has no choice but to get back on the sidewalk. I guarantee you these egomaniacs in a police Halloween costume would have demanded ID if he wouldn't have left. The best and also the worst part of the video is when the jackass cop tells him he's blocking the sidewalk, only to see the cameraman pan over to see the patrol vehicle actually blocking the sidewalk. This is Police Hypocrisy 101 in its purest form. Let's watch this video. The channel is called Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. Make sure to go show him some love and support like you always do. Many folks like to give me credit for helping to build a community of freedom-loving people, but the truth is, you deserve all the credit. So thank you in advance. And here's your video, folks. Enjoy. Hey, you know what? I, I think both places you guys parked is illegal. Hey, I'm Officer Richardson. How you doing? I'm, I'm Todd. What can I do for you? What are you got going on today? Ah, uh, just doing some free speech stuff. Okay. Well, you're on your first property right now. Uh, can you show me where the, uh, the line is? It's up to Campbell Road. Liar. Is, I mean, <laughs> you know there's an easement. Property. It's a sidewalk that goes down the side of the Sidewalks road. Public. You can walk up and down the sidewalk. And do you can't stand road. there? No you're free speech? The you're on the public, you're on the university property. Oh, so it's not up to the street, it's the sidewalk? You can walk on the sidewalk all you want, but you're on the grass here. This is ours. Well, I'm trying to stay off the sidewalk because some of the officers actually don't want me on the sidewalk because people walk up and down the sidewalk. So where would you rather me be? I'd rather you be somewhere else altogether, personally. Why is that? You know, it's the number one cause of death in Texas. Abortion? Okay, that's fine, but... I mean, what do you mean it's fine? How's that fine? You know, you're supposed to uphold the law. You're supposed to protect the innocent. You know what the Constitution says? That we all have the... Um, the uh, um, we're supposed to all have liberty and life, and nobody should take it away. What do you think? you have your ID with you? <laughs> I'm not giving you my ID. You want me on the sidewalk? Where you got to stay. All right, I'm on the sidewalk. Okay. Did you come back on? What's that? It's illegal. You can walk up and down the sidewalk. But no, it's, no, that's not true, man. That's not true. You can't block any sidewalk. I'm not blocking anything. Look at you. You're blocking it. You're blocking the road. What a bunch of hypocrites. I'm not here to deal with you. If you weren't here, we wouldn't be parked here. You could park somewhere else. You could park across the street. You have to. You're telling me I can't stand on the sidewalk. But you can park your car on the sidewalk? You guys are acting like fools. You should just leave. You guys should just go. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not breaking the law. And if I am, arrest me. If not, then shut up and leave me alone. Literally, man. I don't like your attitude. I don't appreciate it a bit. Go. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm not giving you my ID. I'm not doing nothing. If I can't stand on the sidewalk, then arrest me. If not, quit harassing me and leave me alone. Go! Leave me alone! It's ridiculous! I'm not breaking the law. I don't appreciate you telling me I can't be here. I don't appreciate it. I haven't been trespassed. I can go on here. Anybody can go on the property. Anybody can walk on the property. I haven't been trespassed. If you come on the property, you have to give me your ID. If you give me your ID, I'll give you a criminal trespass. All right. Do you understand? Okay. Do you understand I understand. Other? All right. Do we have any more problems? I don't have a problem to begin with, all right? I would like it if you get off the sidewalk, though. You're blocking the sidewalk. I will as soon as we're done. Okay, okay well, I think we're done. Do you have anything else? Anything? No, nope, I'm good, man. Okay. Go on. Man, that was satisfying. He refused to identify. He spoon-fed them their hypocrisy. The freedom to protest falls under the First Amendment with the freedom of speech and the freedom to petition your government for redress of grievances. We don't have to agree with someone's protest, or you can join them with the freedom of assembly. Isn't it a beautiful thing to know and understand your rights? And when you know your natural rights, you'll begin to respect other people's rights as well. These cops weren't that bad. They didn't try to push the issue. Could it be because the man knew exactly what his rights were? 
If you don't know your rights, you're going to sound like an idiot when cops are standing in front of you trying to take advantage of you. Cops thrive on people not knowing their rights. They probably go back to the locker room patting each other on the buttocks when you voluntarily give up your rights. Don't make it easy for them, folks. When you know and stand up for your rights, you stand up for the rights of everyone. When you ignore your own empowerment, you give these lunatics in blue costumes unbridled power. Don't be the fool that lets that happen. Be like this guy at the Abolitionist Society of Little Elm YouTube channel. He protests and knows his rights. Whatever you choose to protest, make sure you know what you can and can't do. Always record your police interactions. If you have videos that you want us to look at, copy your links and paste them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. Send us as much information as possible to make our job easier. There's lots of folks out there reaching out to us, so our time is limited. Thank you all for tuning in. Go subscribe to the original channel and mine as well if you haven't yet. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.